what's up, Mr. Socks here, and today we're going to be doing a new series I like to call Road to Dark Matter. You might have seen this on some other channels, but this is my version of it. This is the very first episode, and the very first episode we're going to be covering the CUDA. This is the very the very first SMG you probably use, you either use this or the KN44, depending on which one you like better. Right off the bat, this is the only SMG to kill in three shots at close range. All other SMGs are four shots at close range. And the recoil with this gun isn't too bad, and but the grip makes it better. But it's it still can compete at long range with or without the grip. Headshots are how you are up to how you play the game, depending on if you play hardcore or if you play like core or bonus, play with this chaos mosh pit, that's a pretty good one. Or if you just like play slow. Headshots are gonna come over time. You just gotta play it how you play and aim for those headshots. Some tips I have for getting headshots are you can watch for just some AFK players and just get easy headshots off them or you can use stun grenades and when they're stunned just go up behind them and shoot them in the head. And when you're using stun grenades use laser sight because laser sight the hit spread on this weapon is very tight and laser spread makes it easier just that much easier to control it. So I'm I say stick to no rapid fire because it's the CUDA is already pretty fast, it beats the Razorback either way, but it's never going to be as fast as the Vesper, the fire, fastest firing weapon, SMG in Black Ops 3. Uh, the 50, there's a couple more challenges after 100 headshots, and so the 50 kill challenges with an optic and 5 attachments and no attachments, that was pretty easy, just go to play favorite game mode and just rack up the kills. Bloodthirsties and revenge medals will just come over time. But you gotta play Domination Hardpoint for the best chance because when you go for Revenge Medals, when you go to the Hardpoint, you, you could get killed. You run back, he's probably still there because the Hardpoint won't move for another like, 30 seconds. So, and then Bloodthirsty, just gotta be patient and work with it. The Kuda is a very balanced weapon and very simple to learn. It's not hard to control, you just gotta learn to use it well, learn how it plays. That's been it today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to drop a like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys next time.